I'm right in the middle of editing a video at the moment and I've realised it's going to be quite a long one to put together. I'm going to be sitting here for maybe three days or so. Fortunately, I can break off in the middle of it to show you something interesting. So a bit of an extra video, really. This arrived from Amazon this morning and it was something suggested to me by a chap called Taras who supports me on Patreon. He was looking for an audio mixer, I think, and he came across this and he said, what the heck is this thing? And I looked at it and thought, I've got to get one of those in because it's just ridiculous. Now, let me try and bring up the uh, Amazon page for it. Basically, it seems to be some kind of live audio mixer type thing that you'd use if you were live streaming and it can do effects and stuff. But the translation on the Amazon listing is just terrible. I'll point out a couple of weird things here. Well, first off, it says that it's a sound card. Sound card with multiple functions, 16 kinds of sound effects, eight kinds of effect modes. It's got electroacoustic mode, dodge mode. Do you know what dodge mode is? I mean, maybe it means something to people who are into these things. I don't know. Do you know what metaphone mode means? And then we've got monitor mode, chat mode, shouting mode, singing mode, and cancellation mode. That's uh, perhaps if you say something really inappropriate, you press that button. Not too sure. 16 live effects. Easy and funny live. The sound is more clear when calling for wheat live. What? What's that about? Wheat live? We'll test that later, see if it's clearer when uh, I do it through the machine. And it has a strong penetrating power. Sounds like a cleaner. It'll clean your ovens as well. And will be the main singer of the music. Well, that's good. At least I don't have to do it. Everyone knows my singing's not up to much. But looking at the picture of this thing, first off, look at those sliders in the middle. Tor Sanchi. I can adjust the level of Tor Sanchi. That's something you've always wanted to do, isn't it? I looked it up, it said, do you mean Tori Sanchez? <laughs> I was trying to see what Tor Sanchez meant, like there was a bad translation or something. It just, it doesn't seem to register anywhere. But in the effects below, well, we've got this line of red buttons, and I'm assuming these are the things that sort of change your voice or the audio. We've got electric voice change, which I'm assuming is all of them. Mute, well, that'll be a good one. Profession, what does that do? Hello, I'm an investment banker. Sing Dodge, there's that Dodge again. What happens there? Whoop, watch out. And then next one there, we've got these black buttons. And some of these, on tempt. What's on tempt? What's, what's that do? What, that'll be a sound effect. So I'll press that and I'll get the on tempt sound effect. I'll be intrigued to find out what that is. Awkward. Now, is that going to say awkward or something like that? But what's lake care? Watch out for that lake. And then next to it, fall in. So obviously that's when you haven't listened to the previous button. And then leave. Bye, I'm off. All right, see you then. Bottom row, moo, moo, ah, I suppose that's a laugh, maybe. And then at the bottom right, together up. <laughs> and good fight. Oh, jolly good fight. Well done, everybody. Um, so, yeah, I just, what a weird thing. Fortunately, not a single review on Amazon at the moment, at the time I'm putting this together, which will kind of spoil the surprise, because I really want to see what the heck this thing is, <laughs> what half those buttons do. So let me get it out of this box. We'll move the cameras around and you can find out with me what the heck this thing does. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Now, I'm not the kind of person that does live broadcasting and all that kind of stuff, so it's not really something I'd ever use, but I doubt it's something anyone else would want to use either. So there it is. Now, on the pictures, I'd imagine this was metal, but it's, uh, it's all plastic. I can already tell that. Let's get inside. Hmm, okay. On the back, we've got one live telecast, two live telecast, a company charging computer, earphone headset, capacitor mic, dynamic mic. All micro USBs there. Uh, that's pretty much it for connectors. Yeah, so I've got my... Oh, it's Tone Sandy on this, look. So it's changed. It was Tori Sanchi. <laughs> I suppose it's getting better. Maybe it's just the tone. I don't know, like a kind of, you know... Oh, no, hold on, we've got bass and treble over here. Tape and music. Now, on Amazon, those were the other way around. Tape was the one on the right. Of course, there's no inputs on the fact that say tape. They're very helpful. Yeah, I can see there's been some attempt made to tidy this up. Fortunately, they haven't completely fixed it. It's still bizarre, but they've capitalised a few of the words and they've corrected a couple. For example, that one there now says take care. That was the one that said lake care before. I still don't know what a take care sound effect will be like, but we'll find out in a minute. And then over here, that was oom tempt before. It's now contempt. And again, what will contempt sound like when I press it? Well, we'll have to plug it in and find out. 
Okay, I've got it all set up now. I'm going to demonstrate it to you in a second. I just want to mention, though, that we're now two hours after I got it out of the box. And I've spent the time between then and now trying to get it all working properly. Now, of course, the idea with a mic mixing box like this is that it makes things easier. This makes them more difficult. I was having all sorts of issues. Even now, with this microphone on it, when I demonstrate it, you'll hear a kind of clipping on the audio. It seems to have an auto gain type thing, but it's also dropping the audio down. It just sounds very weird, put it that way. But there's nothing I can do about that. I've got everything set to its optimum levels. Now, as far as the mics go, I went around the house trying all different mics, different cables and things, because there was just no audio coming through it when I plugged in a proper 6.3 millimeter mic. It worked all right with this lavalier, but again, it, that clipping was just too bad on this. It just sounded terrible. Sounds better with this mic, but I found out, this is just a, a good demonstration of how bad this thing is, that when the mic is plugged in here, it won't make any sound at all until you plug another thing into the three and a half millimeter socket here that's labeled capacitor mic so i previously plugged my lavalier into the capacitor mic this one is the dynamic mic the 6.3 millimeter socket which is designed for that but it ignores it completely it doesn't listen into the mic until something's plugged into the other socket so i just plugged a little adapter a 6.3 millimeter to three and a half mil adapter in, and and now it can hear the mic next to it ridiculous also battery powered rechargeable this thing um, so I've charged it up a bit now it says not to power it to charge it at the same time you're using it because you'll get interference on the audio I think that's the least of their troubles the audio is pretty bad also we've got these little flashy lights at the top here one of these looks like it should be a mic level indicator to show when you're like peeking out another one for your kind of inputs as it is they just flash pretty colors like this they don't have any um relationship to the audio at all i mean the whole thing is bizarre but anyway bear in mind audio is going to sound terrible all part of the demonstration let me put it down here get it underneath this camera and we'll go through some of these effects now it's really awkward for me to get the levels right on this i'm listening back to myself with a slight delay as well but we'll go through the things on here so starting at the top obviously we've got mic volume that's self-explanatory oh by the way you'll hear a buzz every now and then i've got no idea what that is Reverb, so we'll turn that up. So there you go, got a bit of echo on my voice there. A lot of these controls, I've got to say, they're, they're kind of scratchy. They're either, you know, they're on, they're off, they you can't control it very well. So bass and treble, we don't need to go into that. And these two I'm not using at the moment because those will be for inputs. So the sound effects I've got turned right up because that reads out what you've selected here. For example, electroacoustic mod. And that's as loud, oh, hold on, that's as loud as that can go, let's just turn that on. B flat major. B flat major. B major. C major. D flat major. D major. E flat major. E major. What was that last one? D flat major. D flat major. G A flat M B flat major. Yeah, okay, cool. Um, now, the problem is, I want to switch this off, but there's no one. So you have to go into one of the other options, like this one. Professional singer mode. Right, so now I'm in the professional singer mode, which as you can tell is just sub reverb again. And now the end is near. Original sound mode. And then we're back to original sound mode. So to get out of an effect, I'm, I think the only way for me to do it is to go into one of the ones that's got an off option on it. So move from the one I want to another one and then turn it off. Right, so let's find out what tone sandy is. Okay, right, so it's off at the minute. And now we're on, so it goes from like a high pitch there. And if I keep talking at the top, it changes to like a Vorgon or something off uh, the BBC Radio Phonics Workshop. Hello, I'm here to steal your brain. I'm a depressed robot. And, uh, yeah, so that... That's what that does. So you get the idea, and uh, if I put it all the way to the bottom, it turns it off. Ooh, that's a relief. Right. So, that's uh, pitch, really, I suppose, rather than tone sandy. Obviously, uh, monitor is the output level. So let's, let's go through some of these red ones here. These are the different effects. You heard the first one. Let's go into voice change. Now, this will sound familiar. Female wife mode. Female white mode, I think it said. Let's have another listen. Male white mode. Male 
white mode. Now I'm a bit concerned whether this thing gets a little bit inappropriate if I press it again. Let's find out. Children's voice. Ah, children's voice. Well again, we're just using this control here. But there are some preset levels on this button. Magic voice mode. Oh, magic voice mode. Female voice mode. Okay, so you get the idea. I'm unable to turn that one off. So let's go back over here. Professional original sound mode. Right, so um, that one is just that. Electric seems to be reverb. And mute will turn me off. Turn on vocal cut. Um, no, it doesn't actually. Turn on vocal cut. Turn off vocal cut. Yeah, um, sounds the same to me either way. So this, this mode here for the singer. Professional singer mode. That's just a bit of reverb. Original sound mode. Let's go into sing then. What's the difference? K song mode. What did that say? Original sound mode. K song mode. K song mode. You think it's like Korean song mode? Well, that sounds the same as this, surely. Let's try. La 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 la. Professional singer mode. La 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 la. Oh yeah, sort of slightly less echo. Okay, dodge mode. Let's see what this does. Turn on dodge. Hello, welcome to Dodge there, partners. Turn off Dodge. Oh, and there we go. Uh, welcome to Dodge. See, that's what that does. Monitor. Turn off listening back. Open the back listening. Turn off listening back and open the back listening. And finally, yell. MC mode. MC mode. See, sounds like a pretty cool guy. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the stage. MC mode. Original sound mode. Oh. The, the levels on this are going to drive people potty, aren't they? Anyway, let's move on to the effects down the bottom here. Now, these will be really loud if I leave that effect button up there. So I need to take it right down. Let's start here. Okay, fair enough. Applause stops a bit suddenly, doesn't it? Oh, thank you very much. Thank, thank you very much. And uh, Oh, sorry. And then we've got two laughters. Let's try them. Yeah, that sounded uh, realistic the way it stopped, didn't it? This one's a bit better. <laughs> I'm trying to think of a joke I could tell now. Um, yes, yeah, so I've been to three of these karaoke gigs and he hasn't turned up once yet. <laughs> yeah, okay, right, and uh, cheer. Okay, um, that was quite enthusiastic. Right, minions, well, I think you can get the idea. <laughs> now I can talk over all these as well. <laughs> oh, oh, all right, I can't talk over them, sorry about that. Now, what do you think awkward is? Is it going to be someone going awkward or, or what? Well, it's probably not what you think. <laughs> yeah, crows. Now, I've got the idea that's one of those things where you're supposed to have like a tumbleweed and a bit of kind of, you know, you say something that isn't funny, um, and so you say like a really bad joke and then go, <coughs> yeah, okay, moi. <coughs> okay, now, thief. What, what, what is that? What, what is that? Why that particular tune? There's only the one thing there. Yeah, so I added the gun in. The gun is like a really, it's like a big gun, isn't it? I thought it'd just be like a you know, usual. But listen, seems like they fired off uh, big rounds on that thing. Now these six on the end, they all seem to fall into the same category of something that you'd use. Well, you're supposed to use, so you wouldn't do. If you were playing some kind of online battle game, like Call of Duty or whatever, just have a listen. Observe carefully. Observe carefully. Is that approach carefully? Observe carefully. Okay. Get her here. Get her here. Get her here. Okay. Um, leave. Retreat. Oh, that, that makes sense. Retreat. But you could just say that, couldn't you? Why wouldn't you just say it? don't know why you need a button. Good fight. Okay. Together up. Together up. Now, I'll be, I'll be honest, I'm not one of those people that plays these online games. Is together up something you'd say an awful lot? 
I can't imagine it is. Quick, everybody. Together. And they'd be like, what? What are you talking about? Help me, hug me. <laughs> Help me, hug me. Uh, now, I wonder if that is actually the woman being held captive who recorded all these things, and this was her way to kind of get a message out into the world. Help me, hug me. Observe carefully. Yeah, okay. Well, there you go. That's all the effects. And um, isn't it brilliant? So there you have it. That's what this thing does. And what a weird little object. <laughs> there are additional features on here that I haven't shown. It can receive like Bluetooth and it can plug into a computer via a micro USB. And I think it has some kind of internal recording because when you press a button here, it says start internal recording as though it's got some kind of memory in it. But those things are like additional features. The main idea is that you plug your microphone in and you mix in effects on top of it. And we've demonstrated that and it's pretty poor at doing that. I mean, the, the mic input's got loads of kind of weird issues with it and the sockets don't work as they should do. The uh, mic level doesn't show on this display on the front. It's just flashing away for no reason at all. It feels to me like a bit of a knockoff of some of the other things that are similar to this. When you look on Amazon, you'll find a few things like this with all these effects buttons on, and maybe the more expensive ones do the job properly. This reminds me more of that boombox I had where the tape counter was just a stopwatch because the person who's putting it together presumably never seen a tape counter in their life and had no idea what it was there for. It kind of feels a lot like that, as though someone's copying something that they don't quite understand what the point of it is. But uh, there you go. That was the V8. S. If you really want one, I've got affiliate links in the video description, but I'd recommend definitely not clicking on them this time. And thanks, Taras, for introducing me to this device. Uh, but uh, I've got to say, yeah, um, it's not the best thing in the world. But anyway, that's it for the moment. As always, thanks for watching. Bye.